Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in a Tokyo hospital. Yuichi Kimura, aka the father, is by his son Wataru's bedside, after he was pushed off a rooftop. The elder, Yuichi's father arrives, and reminds his son that fathers are supposed to protect their families. Yuichi sets out to find whoever injured his son. Ladybug, an assassin, has returned to work after taking a vacation. He finds the name ironic, because he does not believe he is lucky like Ladybugs are. He is also filling in for another assassin, Carver, who is out due to illness. Ladybug communicates with his handler Maria Beetle, who assigns him to board a bullet train bound for Kyoto from Tokyo. His mission is to locate a briefcase containing cash, with a train sticker on the handle. On his way over, Ladybug is bumped into by Yuichi, causing him to drop a key to a locker in his train ticket. He breaks into the locker and discovers firecrackers, sleeping powder, and a gun, but despite Maria's insistence, he refuses to take it. He boards the train, but is quickly stopped by the conductor, who informs him that he must exit at the first stop, because he does not have his ticket. Tangerine and Lemon, twin brother assassins are aboard the train. They are sent by the White Death, a crime boss, to find his son, who is a junkie who can't be trusted on his own. Lemon's philosophy is heavily influenced by Thomas the Tank Engine, and he compares certain people to characters from the show. Tangerine tells Lemon about White Death, a Russian wanderer who worked as the right-hand man of a Yakuza boss Minagishi, after proving his worth. Then he formed his own gang, betrayed Minagishi, and killed him. While keeping the son occupied, the brothers argue about how many people they killed on their most recent mission. Yuichi joins the train after discovering who pushed Wataru. However, he is betrayed by an assassin known as the Prince, who poses as an innocent schoolgirl, in order to mislead people about her true nature. When he awakens, she tells him that she pushed Wataru, in order to entice Yuichi to her. Prince informs him that she has a henchman waiting at the hospital, to murder Wataru if he does not hear from her every 10 minutes. Ladybug quickly recovers the briefcase, and moves out as he walks past the prince. But before he can leave, he is discovered by another assassin known as the Wolf. In a flashback, Wolf is seen working his way up in the cartel, under a boss named El Saguaro, until finding a wife. However, everyone at Wolf's wedding was poisoned, including El Saguaro and Wolf's wife. He believes Ladybug is to blame for their deaths, and tries to kill him, but Ladybug is saved by his phone, which blocks the stab. The two start fighting, with Ladybug attempting to calm him down, and explain that he doesn't know him, but to no avail, as Wolf is determined to kill him. Wolf throws his knife, which hits the briefcase and pierces his heart, killing him. Ladybug disguises Wolf as if he is asleep, steals his phone, hides the briefcase in a compartment, and calls Maria. She tells him that she was a cocktail waiter at Wolf's wedding. The tequila served there was laced with boomslang snake poison, which congeals the blood and causes you to bleed out of every orifice. If no antidote is administered within 30 seconds, you die. A boomslang snake was stolen from a Tokyo Zoo, and is now on the train. When Lemon and Tangerine go to get the briefcase and get ready to leave, they notice it's gone, and when they return to their seats, they discover the sun has also been poisoned to death. Before going off to find whoever stole their briefcase, they cover his face and clean up the blood. Since the prince had seen Ladybug earlier, she informs Tangerine. Meanwhile, in the quiet car, Ladybug runs into Lemon, and recognizes him from a job in Johannesburg. They fight and exchange blows, while attempting not to wake the other passengers in the car. Ladybug tries to disarm Lemon, and knocks him out with a laptop. He puts sleeping powder in his water bottle, hides his gun, and steals his phone. He changes into another passenger's clothes, and speaks to Maria once again. She informs him that the Hornet, the assassin who devised the boomslang poison during the wolf's wedding, is also on the train, and is the one who poisoned the White Death's son. Meanwhile, Tangerine briefly disembarks at the next stop to meet with White Death's goons, to reassure them that the job is proceeding as planned, while Lemon tries to make it appear that the son is still alive. By pure luck, Prince finds the stashed briefcase in the compartment of the bar car. She then informs Yuichi that she needs his assistance in rigging the briefcase, and delivering it to White Death in order for him to be killed. Since the White Death always executes assassins with their own weapon, Prince also gives him a rigged gun, that blows him off when the trigger is pulled. Yuichi then receives a phone call from his father, who explains the situation and informs him that he pursued the person who pushed his grandson. The elder overhears Prince on the phone as well. Tangerine tracks Ladybug down after stealing Lemon's phone and fights him, believing Ladybug poisoned White Death's son. They spar until Ladybug opens an emergency door, causing the two to nearly fly out of the train, but pull themselves back in. When Tangerine receives a call from White Death, 
he informs her that if they do not show up with the briefcase at the next stop, he will kill everyone on the train. Since the goons don't know what Lemon looks like, the two try to fool White Death's men by posing as brothers. They also use a different briefcase, but Ladybug opens it by accident, blowing their cover and forcing them to run back onto the train. Tangerine claims that he still requires a fall guy for the entire situation, and Ladybug is his best bet. The train arrives at the next stop, and Ladybug kicks Tangerine off before it resumes its journey, but he jumps back. He breaks the glass with his brass knuckles and reboards. Meanwhile, Lemon meets Yuichi and Prince, and drinks some of the spiked water with them. He quickly realizes that neither of them is there for noble reasons, and that they must be the ones who killed the son. Lemon kills Yuichi, but after disposing of his body, he discovers the rig gun in Prince's bag. Unfortunately, the powder's effect takes effect, and he passes out. Prince shoots Lemon in the chest several times, and locks him and Yuichi in the bathroom. Ladybug discovers Yuichi's phone is ringing. He picks up, the elder speaks with him, telling him where the next train stop is. He then encounters the Hornet, disguised as a costumed performer on the train, and injects and kills the White Death's son with the venom, and changes clothes with the concession girl. She stole the zoo's boomslang snake, and used its venom to kill her victims. Hornet poisoned everyone at Wolf's wedding because she worked as a pastry chef. Ladybug battles Hornet, who has come to collect her promised payment for killing the son, the money in the briefcase. She tries to inject him with venom from a syringe, but he only takes a light jab, injecting her with the rest. Hornet then tries to administer the anti-venom, but Ladybug steals it from her and uses it first on himself. He then sees her crawl away, and dies as Karma finally catches up with her. Tangerine discovers Lemon's body in the bathroom, and attempts to track down his assailant. He speaks with White Death again, who tells him that he bought every last ticket to Kyoto, so that they would be the only ones left on the train. Tangerine then encounters Prince, who is almost taken in by her, until he notices a sticker of the character Diesel from Thomas, indicating that he knew she was the villain. Ladybug finds Tangerine again and tries to stop him, resulting in Tangerine being shot in the neck and bleeding out, before he can warn Ladybug about Prince. Ladybug tries to get Prince off the train at the next stop, but she purposefully stalls him and fools him with her innocent act, forcing Ladybug to return. The elder also boards the train, because he overheard Prince on the phone earlier with Yuichi, and realized something was wrong. He sits near Ladybug and Prince, until Ladybug tries to move to another seat, but is bitten by the boomslang snake, prompting him to run away screaming and flush the snake. Just as her phone rings, the elder confronts the prince and steals her bag. She never answers the phone, so her henchman prepares to murder Wataru. The elder on the other hand, had his own assassin pose as a nurse to protect his grandson. Before Prince's guy can even touch Wataru, she kills him. The prince terrified, flees, and Ladybug returns. Ladybug is fine because he received the anti-venom from the Hornet earlier. The Elder tells him about Ladybug's opinion of him being unlucky, and leaves him with the belief that everything happens for a reason, and that fate brought him here. He also tells how he was Minigishi's first confidant before White Death betrayed them, and how he has vowed to exact revenge on White Death for killing his wife. He and his son went into hiding, and he has been plotting vengeance ever since. They discover Yuichi is still alive, and Lemon abruptly awakens. He survived the chest shots thanks to a bulletproof vest. He sits solemnly beside his brother. He shows his appreciation by giving him the Thomas sticker. He then becomes enraged, and attempts to pursue Ladybug for murdering his brother, but Yuichi and the Elder talk him out of it, as they will have no chance alone against the White Death. As White Death prepares to board the train, it arrives in Kyoto. When Prince confronts him, he reveals that they are father and daughter. She wanted his attention because he favored his son and never cared about her. She tries to provoke him on purpose, to get him to kill himself with the rigged gun, but he simply walks away from killing her. Ladybug surrenders with the briefcase outside. White Death explains that everyone on that train was there because he orchestrated it, he wanted revenge for the death of his wife, who was killed in a car accident that was an assassination attempt on him. Lemon and Tangerine killed White Death's men on a job in Bolivia, forcing him to travel there on short notice and miss the car. He also had little regard for his son, as his wife's attempt to bail him out of his crimes resulted in her death. Hornet was drawn thereafter, poisoning the surgeon who could have saved his wife's life. Finally, he believes Ladybug is Carver, the mastermind behind the assassination plot. He was betting that the assassins would all kill each other. Ladybug tries to explain to White Death that he is not Carver, but the goons open the briefcase, causing it to explode just as Lemon starts the train. Ladybug resurfaces and is pursued by White Death and his henchmen. Just as White Death confronts the Elder, the Elder and Yuichi dispatch the goons who boarded the train. 
They draw their swords and begin fighting, while Ladybug and Lemon fight off the henchmen in the driver compartment, as the train speeds out of control and hits another stationary train. Ladybug tries to hit the emergency brakes as they fight the henchmen. Lemon eventually throws himself and the last henchman from the train, as it passes over a bridge. Ladybug slams on the brakes, just as White Death is about to kill the Elder, and the Elder seizes the opportunity to impale his foe close to death. After that, the train derails and crashes into a town. The men miraculously survive and exit the train, and White Death attempts to execute Ladybug, but he blows his own head off with a rigged gun. After that, Prince attempts to finish off Ladybug and the Kimuras, but she is run over by a tangerine truck. Maria then appears in person to save Ladybug, while he negotiates with the Kimuras. He has adopted a positive attitude toward life, and believes he is truly fortunate. Until a telephone pole falls on Maria's car, forcing them to walk. Lemon survived the train crash and hijacks the Tangerine truck, which he uses to run over Prince, and avenge Tangerine. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.